Welcome back to the classroom. My name is Mr. Wong and today we'll be covering the module two inquiry question two question. Uh, this will be from the 2019 independent physics paper for year 11, question 18. And we're gonna explain this exam. We have a cartoon man pushing a lawnmower at, uh, which has 30 kilograms. So 30 kilograms. To do this, he applies a force of 60, as you can see, pushing down through a direct angle of 40 degrees above the ground. What is the normal force of the ground on the mower? Okay, so we know that on this particular mower, it has the gravitational force being pushed down. It also has the normal force of the ground pushing up on it. But you need to take into account the fact that as this person is pushing at an angle down, there is also an additional gravitational component or Y component pushing down on the motor. And there is also an X component pushing along. Now this won't affect the normal force uh, for this particular question, but this Y component will affect the, the normal force overall. So let's firstly work out what the overall, uh, the net force in the Y component is, and that's the gravitational weight force plus the F component of this work being done here. So it would be um, our force of 60 and the sign here of 40 theta like so. So it looks kind of like this. We can therefore uh, substitute our numbers in. So we have 30 times negative 9.8 plus a force of, let's see, it's 60 here. So actually let's just leave this as positive because we can fix up the numbers later on. We have a force of 60 times sine 40. Put it into your calculator and we'll find that the value is at 333 or 332.56 keep writing along so it's approximately 333 newtons going down now because this motor or the lawn mower isn't sinking into the ground we know that the normal force and the gravitational weight force is balancing each other out so, knowing that the net force is zero and that this and, and this are equivalent to each other, we can basically say that the normal force is 333 newtons going up. Okay, so that's how you do the first question related to the normal reaction force. Question B, if the man is pushing the lawnmower at a constant speed, Okay, what is the frictional force or what frictional force does the grass offer? Let's have a look. So, frictional force, if we take it into account, is, so we have, so we're trying to find the force. Okay, if we're moving at a constant speed, that means the force pushing us forward and the friction force from the grass pushing us back is equal so the net force is equal this is an example if we have a net force of zero but we're still moving this is what we call a dynamic equilibrium okay so what we need to find is what is the total force pushing us forward and then similar to what we did here we can work out how what's the friction force pushing us back. Okay in the question we said that there is an x component or horizontal component pushing the motor along. So we have 60 here that's the hypotenuse assuming we have a right angle triangle and then this is 40 so hypotenuse adjacent we're using cos. All right. So cos theta equals to fx divided by 60. 
So fx is going to be equal to cos 40 times 60. Plug it into your calculator and see what you get. So I get about 45.96. So we'll round that off to about 46.0 newtons. And we're going in this direction forwards. Okay, so assuming that the net force of x and our friction force is equal to zero, therefore our friction force is the exact same magnitude, but it's going in the opposite direction. Okay. And that concludes the question for this, uh, question 18. Hopefully you found it useful. Give it a like to support more videos and I will see you next time.